Hi everybody, welcome to our day seven daily update. Uh, I have a recommended activity for you to start today and that is making an average rate of change tool uh, using the numerical model. So on our course page you'll find it right here. There's a fairly clear description about how to do this assignment. Um, there are a couple of extra pointers though. You're going to be making a spreadsheet and in a very similar fashion to the other average rate of change tool, um, you're going to be calculating ultimately the average rate of change between two points. There are some small differences. When you do get your average rate of change tool finished, these two cells on your spreadsheet are variables. In other words, those are going to be numbers that you're typing in. So you might choose an X value of 4 and an A value of 2 and want to know the average rate of change between the X values of 3 and 5. Okay? Um, so, on the other hand, all of these cells should be formulas. So you're going to be typing in spreadsheet formulas into those cells based on the values you have in these variable cells here. If you were examining the function uh, y equals x squared, a sample formula that you would type into this cell would be a3 squared. So if you haven't used spreadsheets before or don't have much experience with them, and we were doing the function y equals x squared, if this is the cell A3 down here, then in this cell you should put A3 to the exponent 2, and that's how you do it. Okay, um, so have a good day 7. It's early dismissal day today. We don't have as much time as normal, so let's do it.